Hello everyone. Welcome to News Roundup number 107 in slow version. Um, again, do please let me know what you think. Is it slow enough for you? I know the language is quite hard, but it's always good to stretch yourselves. Here we go. Happy doggy tail in the Daily Mail. 50-year-old Helen Smith from Hook in Hampshire is over the moon after being reunited with her pet dog Snowy four years after she disappeared. Snowy, a 13-year-old Parson Russell Terrier, was playing in Helen's back garden when she vanished in a suspected theft in October 2010. But now the dog has been found wandering along a dual carriageway in Portsmouth more than 40 miles away. Helen said I was absolutely devastated when she was stolen. I did all I could to find her, but eventually resigned myself to having lost her for good. I broke down in tears when I got the phone call to say Snowy had been found. I was in complete shock. She added, I am eternally grateful I had Snowy microchipped. And good news in the Daily Express for Jackie Cook, 66, who lost her engagement ring 38 years ago, but has now got it back after a chance glimpse of an old photograph. The paper reports that Jackie never expected to see the ring again after daughter Claire buried it in the garden as a three-year-old in 1976. Eventually, Jackie moved to a new house in Kent but then she found some photos of her old home and posted them on a Facebook page which led Tony Crouch who later lived in Jackie's former house to contact her to say she had found the ring in the back garden when she was a child. Tony said she had kept it because she thought it was special to someone. Jackie said, I couldn't believe she found it in that garden by sheer chance. It's farewell to Jack Russell dog Daisy, who, says the Daily Mirror, was Britain's oldest dog. Daisy has died at the age of 23 and a half, over 100 in human years. Her owner, Mark Barsby Finch, from Bishop Cleeve, Gloucestershire, said, She was with us all these years and we'll miss her terribly. It's going to be difficult to get used to cooking for just the two of us now. Daisy used to have exactly what we ate. Beware of the jellyfish. The Daily Express tells us that a warning has gone out 
telling Britain to prepare for a jellyfish invasion. Apparently, this is going to be a bumper year for jellyfish and 500 sightings have already been reported to the Marine Conservation Society. Professor Brendan Godley of the University of Exeter said We are not sure why but the very mild winter probably meant more adults survived at depth. Someone has just bought a splendid piece of history for nearly £17,000. The Daily Express reports that the plane ticket Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain used to fly off for peace talks with Hitler in 1938 has been sold at an auction in London. Chamberlain visited Munich to approve Germany's occupation of part of Czechoslovakia in return for the promise that peace would continue. And when he returned to Britain he famously declared that war had been averted and he had secured peace for our time. For reasons no one has yet explained, Fareham in Hampshire has been declared Britain's most car dependent town. Figures published by the Office for National Statistics as part of a major international study on urban life show that there are 538.7 cars registered to addresses in Fareham for every 1,000 people living in the town, says the Daily Telegraph. People in Fareham are more than twice as reliant on cars as those in Manchester, Liverpool or Nottingham and almost twice as much as those in London and other major cities. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and understood some of it because that's the whole point. You don't have to understand all of it, just some of it. Have a good week. Bye bye.